A thing of beauty, the Concorde. The supersonic airliner being developed and constructed jointly by Britain and France. At Filton, Bristol, the mock-up is well advanced. Enough to give an idea of the shape of this soon-to-come revolutionary aircraft. Concorde is more slender than the big jets of today because her passengers, up to 110 of them, will be flown at twice the speed of sound, round about 1,400 miles an hour. Over to France and some of the problems of supersonic speed. Infrared heaters subject the skin of the plane to far higher temperatures than the maximum friction heat of actual flight. A model is being tested in a wind tunnel simulating the airstream behavior at double sound speed. No need to stress the paramount importance of perfect streamlining. Back to England, where Bristol Sydney Olympus 593 turbojets have been chosen to power the Concorde, four to each airliner, for cruising at 1,400, 65,000 feet up. They're the best possible type. This is a practical expression of Anglo-French cooperation, faith in airliner supersonic flight. Till it's achieved, Britain has, among other top jets, the Trident, homing its way in this striking picture from a 35,000-mile sales flight across the world. A superb high-performance aircraft for which there promise to be plenty of buyers in plenty of countries.